Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so as promised, I am bringing another video for you all on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the Advanced Charging Controller. And it's created by the XDA Senior Member VR25. And how this works, the Advanced Charging Controller, how it works is the Advanced Charging Controller is a module intended for extending the battery life of your device through limiting charging current temperature and voltage. Okay, so I have actually installed it on the tablet and I've been using it for the last week or so and I must say it works really well. It definitely does help to extend the battery life. You will see for yourself when you install it. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through the steps of how to get this installed on your Tab E 9.6. So to install this, you will need to be running either dot os or viper rom so at the moment i'm running viper rom no sorry i'm running dot os so as you can see i'm running dot os guys so yeah you'll need to be running dot os if you're on the stock rom and you want to install dot os or viper rom i will leave a link to my two tutorials in the description down below follow either one of those videos to install either dot os or viper rom onto your tablet and then you can follow the steps that i'm about to show right now okay so i will leave a link to where you can download this advanced charging controller from and all you have to do is just click on the download link here and then click on the top link and then scroll down let me just focus for you all and download the zip file so this is the zip file so just download it and then store it on the desktop so here it is on my desktop and you will also need to download Magisk v26.1 and the Magisk v26.1 apk files i will leave a link to all three files in the description down below and once you've done that just go ahead and connect the tablet to your computer and then store the files on either the internal storage or the SD card one. So here are all three files on my SD card. So both Magis files and the module, the ACCV2022.7 dev module so as you can see these three files are there on the SD card okay so once you've placed them on the SD card just go ahead and if you're running dot os just go ahead and press the power button on the side hold it down and select restart and then recovery and then hit OK and you can unplug the cable if you're running TWRP ROM you will have to power off the tablet and press the volume up button the home button and the power button you'll have to press all three of those buttons 
to get into the TWRP recovery. So remember, it's power off, make sure the device is off, and then volume up, the home button, and the power button. Just keep all three held down, and it will bring you to the team win recovery mode. It'll bring you right here. Okay, so next, just go ahead and hit install. And then select, the, if you don't see the free files, select the storage option and switch to the internal storage. And then you should see the free files if you've stored them on your internal storage. I've stored them on my SD card. That's why they're showing up straight away. Okay, so just go ahead and select the Magisk V26.1 zip and then swipe to confirm flash. And just wait for it to say done. Then hit reboot system. Okay, so just go into swipe up and wait for the Magisk to appear. So there it is. Did take a few seconds to appear. And then just um, go into your files folder. and select where you installed, I mean, where you put the free files. So I put them on my SD card and then locate the Magis V26 APK file. Select it, then select install. And then hit done. And then you can come out of there, close all this down. And then go to the Google Play Store. And type in root checker. And then hit search. And then go ahead and install it.
Okay, so once it's finished installing, it should say installed. And you can close that down and then swipe up again and go into Magisk. And then it will say your device needs to reflash Magisk to work properly. Please install Magisk within app. Recovery mode cannot get correct device info. Go ahead and hit OK. Then select Next. Then select Direct Install, which is recommended and then select let's go wait for it to say all done then hit reboot Okay, so just swipe up again and go back into Magisk. Okay, so now Just close that down and open up the root checker just to check that the tablet is correctly rooted and we have root access. Select agree, then just swipe across. Give consent, then verify root. Okay, super user request, hit grant, and we're good to go. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So once again, you can just close all this down and then swipe up, go back into Magisk. And then down here where it says modules, we're gonna look for the advanced charging controller that's on the SD card or the internal storage. So just select install from storage. And once again, just select where you stored it. So if it's on your internal storage, you would choose this option here. And if it's on your SD card, choose the SD card. And here it is. So this is the charging controller, the ACC file, V20.227, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so just long press on it. And then select open up here in the top right hand corner. And then it will say install confirmation. Go ahead and hit OK. And now it's installing. And just wait for it to say done. And then go ahead and hit reboot.
Okay, so swipe up again. Go back into my disk. Give it a few moments. And then go to modules and as you can see the advanced charging controller is running so once again it explains mainly intended for extending battery service life on Android devices in a nutshell this is achieved through limiting charging current temperature and voltage any root solution is supported regardless of whether the system is rooted with Magisk. The installation is always systemless. So here it is and it's enabled and it's working. There's also an option to remove it, but I don't know why you'd want to remove this amazing module. And there's also an option to update it whenever there's an update available. Anyway, that's it for the video guys. I'm a man of my word. I told you I'd be bringing you all another Tab E 9.6 tutorial video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, share the video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next one, guys. Deuces. Have fun.